the pressure on the rupee seems to be intensifying. What's led to this weakness in the past week that we've seen? So actually, if you see the build-up, the build-up started early May, and it all started with uh, the governor's statement on gold mm. and the fact that consignment imports may be actually slowed down or banned. Mm. And that's actually led to a bunch up of demand for gold. And we've seen uh, the country import tons of gold. I mean, we've imported basically four months of gold in two months. Right. And uh, if you go by that pace and you see a $15 billion outflow on account of one particular commodity in an exaggerated fashion, it's going to put additional pressure and has put additional pressure on your structural current account deficit, right. which anyway is a problem. Compounded with that, you've seen a situation where the euro is strengthening a little bit mm. against the dollar. But at the same time, you've seen a little bit of unwind of FII positions, mm. both in debt and to some extent in equity. Right. All of that has led to, you know, the alleviation of the structural deficit has come from FIIs in the past. Right. That's seen a little bit of a reduction as well. So all of this has come together. Mm. All of it has come in the last three weeks. Yes. And uh, sure enough, you see where the currency is. <laughs>